So yes, I'm gonna talk about the thousand dollar product that I was super hyped, was gonna buy a lot of money, a lot of it. I still have money. I just don't wanna buy it anymore because I saw a video with Brian Kibler, who is somebody I detest. I am not a fan of Brian Kibler at all. Brian Kibler, in case you don't know, he was supposed to be this the coolest guy. He always promotes as the most handsome guy in Magic. And he left Magic to do Hearthstone when Hearthstone was popular. So I didn't even think he still played Magic. Uh, he went, he was hired by the Armored Get Getting Con, which was a giant scam, but he got paid. So good for him to appear and play. So anything associ I associate with Brian Kibler, I think it's bad news. And to have him, I don't know who the other person was, but to have him promote the product, I immediately understood what it was. Because the question many of you have is, who's this product geared towards? And I said, oh, it's geared towards me, maybe MTG headquarters, to people who want to open a pack opening, you know, to people who want to get views by opening a Black Lotus. That's the initial idea. And I don't think I was too wrong about that. But once you see Brian Kibler, you know this dude will do anything for money. So then it's like, uh-oh, something is wrong. Because the last time I heard about him was Armageddon Con, where they paid him to do the appearance. It was, it was, it was a scam. I don't think the winners got paid. I don't think anyone got paid because no one showed up. So instead of promoting it and doing a good job, he just went, there's pictures of him at the casino and so on. Nobody showed up, surprisingly. Surprising, you bring all these famous Magic players and nobody shows up. This is like giving me like flashbacks when I actually used to go to Magic events where they spent so much money paying these people. And I was like, oh, I know what's gonna happen. They're gonna sell these $1,000 packs to whales like myself. Then they were gonna give the money to Brian Kibler. And I am not about that because I've seen it done time and time again when they give influencers show so much money. Uh, we saw that with the NPL, which was 10 years, $100 million, $10 million a year. And all they did was destroy, destroy lives. They destroyed Teresa Nielsen's life. All, all they did was not stream due to mental health issues, right? Even though your contract says you have to stream. Well, I have mental health issues. What are you gonna do about it? Because if you tell me to work, I'm gonna cry. And when I cry, I'm gonna get you canceled. Right, they canceled that offer. The person wrote a book. Chandra was not gay. Oh, <laughs> somebody actually read the book and out of the, like, the thousands of words, right? They focused on that one sentence and it was like, what? How can that be? And, um. I'm not going to, Brian Kibler is part of cancel culture. That's exa exactly what I'm going to say. I'm going to say that right now. Brian Kibler is part of cancel culture. You know, one day I was, he loves Twitter. One day I'm on Twitter, you know, I'm Golden Guardians is this sucky team on League of Legends. They never give their people enough money. So I was saying, you know, something about I will dominate. So I, this was when I was doing League of Legends. I, since this interaction, I don't give a shit about Golden Guardians or League of Legends, and I don't even watch. I didn't watch the US get absolutely demolished. I just heard about it in the news. And the they're losing fans. So again, it's a very toxic behavior he's involved in, and they lose fan after fan after fan. It's the same with League of Legends. You know, League of Legends viewership is down. They're gonna move it to the weekend. They're moving to weekday, so they can put other stuff on the weekend. Not a good sign if you are an e-sport game. Organizations have been losing money. We're entering a recession. Nobody wants to invest more money. So when these individuals start promoting a product and I look at the individual, I look at his background, I look at who he is, and I look at how he, we've interacted together. Like he tried to cancel me on Twitter. It's on the Twitter field. So I'm saying, Hey, you need your Golden Guardians, you need to, because I'm a Golden Guardians fan, and I want them to do better. I want them to spend more money. So I want them to replace the coach, which was Brian Kibler's friend. So Brian Kibler comes, oh, he's done really bad things in the past. Oh my gosh, you won't believe what he said. So he's trying to cancel me. I'm not gonna give a mother effing cent to somebody who has tried to cancel me among other people. 
He is the definition of a social justice warrior. And once I saw him that video, I am going to pull all my magic products. I bought a shit ton of magic products, which was bad. I bought too much. You know, I got offered a buy list today. It was a pretty good buy list. It, interestingly enough, had an Alpha Earth Bind, which uh, I think it's 550 retail for an Alpha Moderate Play or Earth Bind was crazy. No, I, I, you know, I had enough is enough. I have enough magic. I don't want any more. I'll still open the magic on my channel because otherwise, what are we going to do? Burn it? I saw Brian Kibler and I immediately understood what was going on. There's going to be another cancellation war. They're going to cancel us. Or not us, me again. Right? This is a guy they brought back for the sole purpose of canceling people. He is the first one to tweet anything to cancel. We've had that whole thing with, I mean, you know, most of the MTG celebrities are really into canceling people on Twitter. I don't even use Twitter anymore. I just auto post on Twitter. The one time I used Twitter to try to encourage my League of Legends team to do a little better and spend a little bit of money, maybe get a new coach who comes out of the woodwork to try to cancel me. It's Brian Kibler. So I'm not buying this shit. You know, maybe I'll buy some magic packs to open and set packs. I get them at relatively good prices, right? But holy shit, man, when I saw his face on this product and his announcement saying, oh guys, it's only $999. Without, without like, you know, <laughs> without any expression, I was like, yeah, he's back. So they're going to, uh, they're going to build up their war chests. And you think like, you might think, oh, Tony's conspiracy. This is like, you know, uh, far rights can no, it's, it's not, it's happened before to me. I've been canceled before by this exact type of per, I mean, it's, I, it could even be him. He was probably part of it. I just didn't read the tweets because they were so hateful in the back in the day. They cancel you, they cancel your business. This is how Wizard of the Coast is going to, you know, their, their Hasbro stock is at all time low, at least of, as of today, it hit the all time low, been bleeding money. And remember Hasbro announced, hey, we're gonna make more money than ever for Magic. <laughs> how are you gonna do that? Well, what about thousand dollar packs? Why don't we get this guy? I know, I know a guy. He loves canceling people. That will help our, that will help our play groups. When Eric Froelich cancels his entire store, of a flag that was offensive you know i think it was the keck w flag or something i don't actually know what that means i don't know maybe it is offensive but my understanding was it wasn't meant to be offensive it was just kind of a funny meme or joke it's like a type of joke that you would talk talk at the game store right um yeah i know what's coming because it's always you know whenever wizard of the coast you look at who's in charge you look at who they're hiring look at what employees it's a shitty company, man. And I, I'll be on the record for saying this. I don't think the current team can last longer than five years before just self-destroy. That's what they do. They infiltrate, they do bad things, and then they blow up the company. And then they're like, oh, well, we, we, that was a plan all along. Die capitalism, gap die while taking millions of dollars from the, not understanding what they're doing is actually capitalism itself, right? So when I saw his face on the video, back on a magic product, promoting a thousand dollars a pack and doing so very, you know, very aggressively, or I mean, without like actual remorse for the players who would buy this for a thousand dollars a pack, I will tell you this, my dudes, it's time to go home. Like, I think the Wizard of the Coast, Pokemon is great. I love Pokemon. In fact, I probably, I, I don't know, I, I opened a shit ton of magic, which I regret making several big magic perks. I should not have bought those booster boxes, even if they were a good price. Apparently, Rudy has more Modern Horizon than anyone can ever imagine, which makes sense, because that's what he sold to the Patreons, right? And it's not selling, nobody needs Modern Horizon. No one needs more than, five of them nobody needs 500 of them um yeah i think that's it that i mean i'm out i'm no longer i'm making this announcement i'm no longer buy listing magic boxes definitely not i'm no longer going to i'm going to try really hard to get my distributor off magic and again 
when you work with a distributor, sometimes you have to buy the stuff that they give you. It's not even about available. It's just very weird, right? Because sometimes you have to take their Funko figures and like, I don't even sell Funkos. Okay, take them. And it's kind of like, you take this and I'll get you the, you know, wink, wink, good product later. Um, I, I gotta really work hard, you know, to say no to magic because the pricing, then, then, then he'll go, I get, I get, it's also pricing, right? Um, so I'm no longer buy listing. Uh, as soon as I saw the video and it wasn't just, oh, I'm making this video today. And I just, no, no, I decided this a, a while ago because there was somebody who wanted to buy list a $4,600 collection for 3,000. Typically it would be an auto. Yep, let's do it. I turned it down. I said, oh, well, good luck. You know, I wish you the best of luck and off you go. I'm no longer interested in magic. I'm no longer interested in sealed or single buy listing. I'm shutting it all down. Even my beloved dual lands I love so much. And this is a really good price. Could it get lower? Yes, but the current price is very good. And I wish I somebody came to me and has a thousand of them and can buy them at today's price. Not gonna happen to me. But what I'm gonna tell you is, and you're like, oh, you ran out of money. No, 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 I bought even more Fire Emblem Heroes or Fire Emblem Cypher. Like these other collections, Inuyasha, Fire Emblem, I'm just having, and Pokemon, I'm just having so much fun opening them, you know, having, reliving my childhood. And the only bad memories I have is of magic. I remember getting canceled. I remember Wu got canceled on his pro tour and they, they wanted to tax him for a plane ticket he wasn't gonna use. I remember that was a big deal. I remember Jeremy got canceled. Jeremy Hambly from the quarter lane, he got canceled. We all got canceled. They were, Matt, they canceled an entire Facebook group. I forget how many people were in that group, but I think it was a few hundred maybe. Like it was an entire group of people. They published their names, their addresses, <laughs> you know, the DCI numbers, not that it matters, but it sounds like a prosecution, right? Like when you have a list of people with their first last name and a number, what does that remind you of? Like to me, that reminds me of one of the worst events in human history. And that's why when people collect lists of names for the specific purpose of canceling or getting rid of them in some capacity, it has historically always been one of the worst things you could ever do. Um, you're not doing it because you want to reward these people. <laughs> now when you assign you know, a numeric name uh, number to uh, a person, Anyway, you, you saw the emails. I still have those emails. It's all real. It's not make, made, made believe and stuff. They were watching all my videos trying to cancel me. Uh, they did successfully cancel me and my business. And I know it was tough. When I see Brian Kibler, that's all I think about because he's part of it. You know, he didn't speak up for Teresa Nielsen. He didn't stand. I mean, if anyone should have spoke up, it would be him with their connection, right? Anyway. When they hire bad people to sell bad products, I don't think the product is like horrible. I think there is an audience for it. But when you bring Brian Kibler and you put him in front of me, I'm not gonna buy anything he's trying to sell me. It's almost like, you know, people won't buy anything. Yay, Kanye is going to sell because they're offended by him. Brian Kibler is my version of Kanye. I know that will offend him a lot where it's Kanye to some people is Brian Kibler to me, where any product that Kanye is trying to sell, he's gonna get dropped. And for me, Brian Kibler is the definition of why, of so many bad memories and why I don't like magic um, as much as I should like magic. He's the definition of somebody who I think is gonna destroy the game of magic. And I think he's well on his way. Hi <laughs> guys.